Greetings everyone, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kamzet. Today we shall continue on with the campaign. Um, we're gonna continue on with the Savorza campaign. I mean actually even start with it because I have actually not been reading uh, this entire thing. And um, I, even though I have finished it and uh, all the four episodes, the last ones like one, I mean two, three, four and five have been recorded and are basically being rendered and such and gonna be uploaded eventually but the first one hasn't it has been corrupted so I have to redo it so sorry for that but um you know enjoy it I'm gonna start doing it right now anyway so the year 1427 and 1450 when the Italian princes were too cowardly to get their hands dirty, they paid mercenaries like Savolza. He sold himself to the highest bidder, but always looked for a new opportunity to get rich. Can a man like Savolza achieve his grand ambition, or will he like will he himself be betrayed? In this campaign, you will play as the Italians. Now, mission one: mercenaries and masters. So, you want to know about Sforza? I will tell you about Francesco Sforza. Sforza was like me. We were condottieri, contract men. When the Italian princes were too rich or too cowardly to get their hands dirty, they paid us. We fought because they paid us to fight. We stole because they paid us to steal. And when they did not pay, we made sure someone did. We sold ourselves to the highest bidder, and if another prince came with a bigger purse, we did not hesitate to change sides. Honor was cheaper than silver. But for Sforza, Sforza was different. He was in it for his own glory. That is why he took the Visconti contract. He wanted to make a name for himself, to be more than the bastard son of a dead mercenary. He needed a patron, an ambitious prince with many enemies and more gold than friends. Filippo Visconti, the Duke of Milan, was the obvious choice. Visconti had all the ambitions of Caesar, but none of the courage. He was craven and paranoid. But at least he paid. Well, most of the time. And whether his ambitions meant war with Florence or with Venice, Visconti always needed contract men. That is why he hired condottieri like Sforza and Niccolo Piccinino, hungry men looking to make a name for themselves. So what we have to do is escape Brescia. The hints are you're restricted to a population limit of 200. Civils as men are mercenaries and consider it construction and resources gathering beneath them. You can only rely on payments from Visconti and your existing camp. Do not try to fight the Venetians with Michelito's small force. You only need to make it outside the city gates. Pequino's uh, your, is your ally, it would be wise to join him in his attacks and to protect him when he is attacked. Scouts, your scouts report the Venetian has conquered the Brescia, a Lombardy city once ruled by Visconti. The Duke of Milan has sent Savolsa and Piccino to retake the cities by eliminating the Venetian army. The Venetians have hired Contidieri named uh, Camanongla, five yellow. It's not necessary to defeat him, but his Contidieri cavalry and hand cannons are a potent threat. The Florentines, six orange, are in league with the Venetian against the Visconti. They are a proud republic who are hesitant to give power to the mercenaries. Instead, their army consists of infantry, archers, and siege raised from their own citizens. Let's run. Quick. Only a fool would die here for a few coins. Come, mate. Let us fight our way out of the city to reach my cousin Francesco. Through the gates, mate. 
Do not let the Venetian Surats make Brescia your I grave. Am. Run! There we go. Nothing. The Venetians have taken Brescia. We will not get paid unless we retake the city. But beware of that bastardo, Damaniola. He will attack us. Great. Sforza, you scoundrel. I know your cousin abandoned Brescia to the Venetian dogs. No bother. More gold and a glory for me. Do not get in my way. Oh, wow. He's harsh. Uh, at least we have some more men, but I don't think I can take that city with these army. Come on. You are failing, Sforza. I shouldn't pay you, but take it. Do not disappoint me. I will have Piccinino stab you in your sleep if you fail me again. Wow. Harsh. Jerk. It should be enough to recruit more of these men. Let's just sell the wood and go for it. I could use a bit more of Contieris as well. We're getting a small army at the ready. And then we're going to just besiege this entire town because it's just a little bit of towers and um, how should I say a few of those um, you know inventory hand cannon is and a mixture of contentieri is always great could also use priest maybe ah let's screw that these men should be provided useful now here they come He's going to attack them. He's just spreading his troops apart. Okay. That's weird. Oh well. I'm going to start an attack. But let's just wait a little bit to get more troops. Would be wise to do so. But I'm really not, you know, keen on seeing this camp. Especially not for the enemies. Wherever it is. Okay, come on. Okay. I think I have enough men to besiege them. Well, partly. I do have all the upgrades. That's nice. Come on. Kinino, attack them, or must I do everything? Oh look, he just killed one army. Ah, uh, let's just rush it inside then. Yeah. Just one more army to be trained and we're done. Okay, look, he's attacking now. Great. What is he doing? The city is that way. You know what, I'm just gonna go now. Look at that. This army should provide useful. 14 of these men. Alright. Take your payment. Now show that you deserve it. Shush. Don't taunt me, you bastard. Now let's send all our men that way. I don't know what this guy is doing. But he's barely attacking. I'm the only one going forward. Well, nonetheless, let's just go. Especially these men shall provide useful. Join in. Let's go for an assault. I'm I'm 
see the damage is high when you shoot with those hand cannoneers. Look at that. This siege is magnificent. There we go, they got in. Destroy their towers. Okay, charge them now. Come on, boys. Destroy them all. Ah, oh, you bastard. Take this city. Oh god, no. Okay, I have to kill these bastards. Look at them. Sort of. How many of these men are going to be spawned? Look at that. Yeah, they killed us big time. Let's fall back. And let's recruit some more men here. Okay, let's sell some more. And more of these will be wise to make. There. That's it. Bloody red attack already. Good. We killed them. I'm just gonna check around. Seems the red is still not doing jack. Okay, that's easy, I guess. We'll try to go forward to this place. Let's see. Oh fuck. There, I should do it. Destroy this blockade. Yeah, here comes more reinforcements. Shoot them down. Yeah, no, he's just running away. Okay, well, let's kill their troops over here. Oh, fuck. Are we done? Ah, look, there's some more. I think that's it, maybe. Let's just hope for it. I think we need to just scout around more and find these guys their weaknesses. Svolta, go after them. Press 
Ah, oh, look at that. They're just coming again. You bloody weaklings. Go away. Oh god, Savolta, run! Right. If I can destroy this gate, I'll be able to capture this land, I think. Alright, let's just push forward. Um, more Contieris, more hand cannoneers, sell the rest of the resources, and more of these things. There we go. We've done it, I think. There seems to be a bookkeeping error. You will not get your next payment. You are a servant of the air. Figure it out. Wow, that's harsh. Visconti is an ungrateful fat dog, isn't he? I recommend you sack the local markets for resources. No one became rich by being honest. Yeah, but I've destroyed these guys. How is he still alive and all? Fine, let's just destroy their local things. So yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. There's some market over there, so let's just destroy it. And we did, however, destroy that entire thing. Kill the woman. Alright, we're doing this. And destroy this church. Nice. Here, more contieris. And some more hand cannonies. And again, more contieris. That should be done. Madonna mia! Cousin, you burned the church to the ground. We are going to have to pay for a new one. Nah. There's no need for such. Good. That should do it. Teach them a lesson to give me my payment because we're bloody mercenaries. However, I still do not understand why have we not won? These guys are not doing anything at all. Go boys. Come on boys. Get together boys. Come on. I fired my accountant and fixed the error myself. Wow. That guy is harsh. Um, yeah, right. Let's make a few more contieris and the rest should be these. Right, let's keep going. Shoot this thing down, hurry. Good job. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Kill those bastards. I think we just need to destroy this barricade, then we're done. I don't know. Nope. Strange. Let's just get her out of here. There, look at that. Here are the enemies. Oh, look, there's another unit. Come at us, bastard. Let's try to shoot him down and see what happens. Finally. We have done it, Francesco. Presto, ah. But watch yourself, my cousin. With every victory, others grow jealous. Surely. Visconti distrusted and hated us. But I do not blame him. His own brother was murdered by a condottiero on the steps of a church. <laughs> Visconti saw Sforza's successes as a threat and plotted to have him killed. But instead of running to safety, Sforza confronted the Duke directly. To our surprise, Visconti was so impressed by this boldness that he dismissed the charges against Sforza and betrothed the soldier to his daughter Bianca. This made Sforza the Duke's heir. I will say this about Sforza. He was a scoundrel, but he was no coward. And his courage was always repaid. Well, that was it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something or record a game together that is possible as well? Just write it in the comments box below. Or Edmund's theme, and we get a chit chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video.